Hi everyone, this is Tom Williams here. I just have word from a friend of mine that former woman wrestler Daphne passed away at age 46 over suicide. And I was, I am devastated by it. I am loss of words. I just got back from doing errands and I got this text saying that Daphne passed away from a friend. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? How she commit suicide. Like, people don't understand how impactful Daphne is in the wrestling business. She was the original anti-diva. She is the stream queen in wrestling. She was different. She stand out like, I mean, literally stand out from the rest. People couldn't understand her, but people like me and my friend, other people who watch wrestling, love her because she was quirky. She was gothic. She was different. She was the chip with the tattoo. She got a look. She was ahead of her time. Like, really ahead of the time. You see all these, like, current women wrestlers, like, wearing tattoos, um, wearing dark makeup, being all godlike. Look at Daphne in the 90s. And I, yes, I grew up in the 90s. But look at her and then look at the current woman right now. Like, she was the one that make women wrestlers to stand out in a very unique way. No one cannot be like her. They could try to be like her, but no one cannot be like Daphne because Daphne had more talent and more range in her character and her character development. And even when she talking to Mike, it's like she on this character mode. And she's like this Holly, like Harley Quinn type of energy that making her a bona fide superstar. And I don't understand how this woman doesn't get the credit that she deserved in the wrestling business. Despite she take crazy bumps and make us laugh and cry, she never get her dues and her respect. And thinking about her death that got me upset, her death remind me of China. China give everything to the wrestling business and the wrestling business chew her and spit her out. Same thing as Daphne. And I have friends that met her and they say that she's the most sweetest, most nicest woman you ever meet in your life. She care about the wrestling business. She care about putting her image out there. She cared about the fans. She loved the fans. And she wanted to go back in the wrestling business. But however, her injury got her messed up. I mean, messed up. Like, oh God. 
and now now they're gonna be lots of people gonna have a debate on the issues of women in the wrestling business like should they wrestle in the ring and should they manage because of head injuries and stuff no I feel that wrestling need to revamp health protocols when I mean health protocols I mean that less head injuries um, they need therapists because I feel like wrestling company really need a therapist and a counselor in the wrestling business because I feel that some of these wrestlers are going through some mental issues and through depression and I feel that if Tony Khan or this man should consider of having therapies for wrestlers who was dealing with mental issue because I'm taking therapy and I feel like therapy is a good way to help you clear your thoughts and clear your mind and people have this thing of oh I hate therapists therapists they too distrust and they like to spray your business and things like that that's what you think but I feel like a therapist it help you clear out things you need to know about yourself and I feel that if Daphne have a proper care with mental issues and also physical issues she will be here today and helping the younger generation and I feel that the younger generation needs someone like her like I could picture her working with Ruby Soho known as Ruby Riot I could see her working in a dark order and I could I could see Daphne doing that stuff like Daphne in the dark order it would be her moment of shine because she 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 represent the goofiness and the darkness of who she is and it just breaks my heart that she couldn't do it and I just wondering I just wonder if Gil Kim Awesome Kong Angelina Love and Velvet Sky I just wonder wonder if if they could do an intervention on her if she was alive you know what I mean I know it's like I, I, just, I just speak out loud but I just wonder if they could reach out to her will she change her faith you know what I mean and I feel that the wrestling business needs to be more health focused on wrestlers with head injuries and bumps and be more um, therapists as well to help them to just be healthier and happier but that just me so rest in peace Daphne 
you will be missed and you will be loved and I just love everything about Daphne and I can tell you my favorite Daphne moment when she was Sarah, pa Sarah Payton the Alaska governor Sarah Payton she rocked that storyline for us. She rocked that gimmick. Like everything she did about Sarah Payton and it's just so funny. You know, that's the one thing I like about her. It's like her sense of humor. And also when she had a match with Crowbar over the Cruiserweight title and you could tell that she just in her character and she is so into the sport and I just I just love that about her like Daphne is just a go-getter and she she don't complain by doing the stuff she does and she gonna be Grady Miss because she was an amazing wrestler an amazing amazing performer i don't know she won any women's titles while she was wrestling i know that she was a cruiserweight um champion when she was in wcw but other than that i don't remember her being woman champion so if she does let me know because i feel that she was an amazing wrestler that is gone too soon so this is ty williams good day and goodbye